a dragon carved out on it. It's slightly flexible. In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about the Black Dragon Kung Fu Broadsword we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm gonna be talking about all the features that it's got, who would use this broadsword, who typically buys it in the shop, and at the end, I'm gonna to put together a short montage of people training with the broadsword in Kung Fu. Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the Black Dragon Broadsword. As the name suggests, this is the Black Dragon Kung Fu Broadsword and it does have a dragon carved out on it on a black scabbard. So it's a really nice looking broadsword. It tends to have pretty good quality fittings all the way down the scabbard and then has Chinese writing on the other side. Now sometimes this does vary a little bit. So sometimes you might just get the dragon on both sides. Sometimes you might get Chinese writing, but nearly all the time you get a dragon like carved out on the scabbard in, into the wood. And always it's black with the gold fittings all the way from one end. all the way down to the other end on the scabbard. So that's how it looks. You also get two flags on the end of it. Now sometimes these are the same color, sometimes they're different colors. If there's any variations with it, we do our absolute best to update the photos on the website and all the dimensions and everything, which I'll talk about a bit later. Yeah. Double check on the website just to make sure that everything everything is as you want it. We'll do our absolute best. If it's not the same as what we've said, we will contact you and, and let you know. So let's get on to the main bit that you're interested in, which is the sword. So this is made out of sprung steel, but it's considerably thicker than say the Wushu or the Shaolin swords that are crazy bendy. So it does have a bit of bend, but it only really bends sort of 45 degrees, something like that, whereas the, the Wushu bends will, Wushu ones will bend like 180 degrees. So it has a bit of flex in it, so it's a little bit wobbly, but it's much, much more rigid. So I would call this a rigid sprung steel blade. Now obviously it isn't completely rigid, there is a little bit of flex, but compared to the actual flexible sprung steels, this is much, much more rigid. Now, because there's more metal in it, it's also heavier than the Wushu ones. So it tends to be picked up by the more traditional styles. A sword like this wouldn't be used by the Shaolin or, or Wushu ones. It's just too heavy, too rigid. They want it really wibbly wobbly and make loads of snap and noise. You won't get snap out of this. See, as, however hard you do it, it won't, it won't make the wibbly wobbly noises and, and snapping all over the place. It's because it's too rigid. So the styles that pick this up tend to be the more traditional styles. Now most styles of Kung Fu and even Tai Chi, Bagua and Ching Yi and stuff, all those styles that are using a broadsword want a slightly heavier blade. Now they don't want like a combat ready, like pull your arm off type sword. They still want something fairly light. This is the perfect sword for them. Styles like the Hungars, the, the Mantis, um, like Bagua styles, Tai Chi styles will use, will use a style like this, Southern styles of Kung Fu. The more like commonly known as the traditional styles of Kung Fu, not, not the modern stuff, will we'll use a sword like this. Now, we do have other swords, which I'll show you again in a bit. So we do have more rigid options, but because of the look of this and the feel of it, it feels much more like a traditional broadsword would. So that's why people tend to go for this you know, and the practicality, the weight, etc. But they tend to go for this over, say, like the aluminium ones. So just having a look at a few more features in detail. So the handle is a wooden handle, which has been painted black. So it's got quite a hard black paint on it. Really nice and smooth. Um, yeah, very tough. And uh, yeah, very, very, very usable. Now, if, you, if you're if you one of those people who gets crazy sweaty hands, hopefully you'll still be able to grip this, but maybe it might be worth thinking about getting a wrap on it. But for most people, it's, it's pretty grippy as it is. Also the scabbard, which is made out of wood, you can see down the end, it's it's a wooden scabbard with, with the brass fit, well, with the metal 
metal fittings on it and it's also been painted in this very shiny black wood now all of the dragons the fire symbol here and the Chinese writing is all carved out so there's no chance of like the the design rubbing off the more chance, obviously if you're not looking after it, is that the paint's gonna rub off, but the designs will stay there the whole time. Now all the way down the length from the pommel, the guard and the fittings are all made out of this like brass colored metal. Now I'm pretty sure it's not actually brass, but it's brass colored metal. So uh, it looks very nice. And I guess it not being brass helps keep the price down a bit. But yeah, very usable and they, they don't really tend to tarnish. I mean, if you leave it out in the in the wind and the rain, it's probably not gonna look that great. But yeah, if you keep keep hold of it, it's gonna keep that, that lovely golden color. Now, just a tip on using it. This is a full tang, so the sword, the metal of the sword goes all the way down to the end, um, and, it's, and it's secured on with this nut here. Now, over time, if you're using it a lot, these nuts can just un unscrew a little bit and sometimes the, the fittings on, on the handle can just get a little bit wibbly. Really, really simple to fix. So you just get a spanner on the end and just tighten it back up and you'll have, you'll have a brand new, perfectly un unwibbly sword again. Now it is totally blunt. There's no sharpness on this whatsoever, but the end, the tip right in the end, Obviously it's slightly flexible and it's not sharp at all. You can see me running my fingers over it. But if you are swinging it around, doing your forms and you accidentally clip like a training partner or one of your training mates, you could in theory cut them. I guess it's similar to like a paper cut. It's just because it's hard metal and it is pretty thin. So you do be careful. If you're swinging it around, you could cut the tops of your toes or you know, if you're you're coming around, you, that there is an option that you're gonna you're gonna cut yourself on your on your back or whatever. So just be careful. Don't don't go too mental with this. Or if you are going full 100% mental, then you know make sure you've got a fair bit of distance. At the moment, like the the COVID pandemic's going on, so we should be distancing anyway. So yeah, make sure that you keep keep doing your social distancing, and you won't cause anyone yourself any damage but like i said be careful with with your fingers or with your toes or for the tip because it can it can cut a little bit um even though it's not sharp just have a look at the dimensions now i'll do all the dimensions on the website i'm not going to do them all here because it'll be very very boring but i'll just give you an idea of exactly the dimensions now the blade length can change it does vary as the different suppliers like that we use get these swords and as, yeah, different stock comes in, the blade length can change. Now this one that I have is actually a really good length for me. Um, swinging, swinging it down with a straight arm, it's not touching the floor, it's just missing it. I'm five foot nine, so this is a really good length for me. Some people want them a bit longer, some people a bit shorter. We don't necessarily get a choice over the length, but we will do our best to put everything up on the website best we can. But this current sword here, in total length, it's about 33 inches or 84 centimeters. And a blade length, like I say, which can vary, but this one I'm holding here is around 26 centimeters, 66 centimeters. 26 inches or 66 centimeters. Very usable length for me. Like I say, there's sometimes they can just be a little bit longer. Just check out on the website just to make sure it's the length that you want. So just having a look at the weight, the whole thing weighs in over a kilo, but the sword on its own is just over 500 grams. So really usable weight. So at Enzo, we have quite a good range of broadswords. So as well as the Black Dragon Kung Fu broadsword, we also have the very rigid aluminium broadsword and the pretty rare aluminium nine ring broadsword. The flexible Wushu broadsword and the double Wushu broadswords. We also have wooden broadswords in the standard size and in a junior size. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here's a short montage of people training with the Kung Fu Broadsword.
Thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the Black Dragon Kung Fu broadsword we have for sale at Enzo. If you like this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel, and get all the latest videos from Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much, and I'll see you soon. Cheers!